This dog here I found on the internet recently and couldn't believe how much it looked like the type of Neos that were brought into North America in the 90s. I had a good friend who had a lot of the original first dogs brought over here. She had a breeding program and the size, the type, the head, the expression, the shitty nerves, this is exactly what the majority of the female Neapolitan Mastiffs looked like that came to North America in the 90s. And a lot of those people that have been around to watch the American Corso breeding program from back then can definitely see the resemblance as these were what were the more typier looking dogs as most of the American Corsos had really long pointy faces and zero bone. But this is the type of dog that was crossed into a lot of them and it's why so many people have issues still to this day with fear aggression. However, there are people who have worked really hard and have created fantastic lines with the American dogs. Definitely dogs that I would probably own myself. However, any of the American Corsos I did have were similar to this and fear biting. I had a dog that looked just like this and she was a registered Neapolitan Mastiff, but she was gray in color, but her size, type, bone, everything was the same. But this was very typical for what was coming over to North America from Italy as registered Neapolitan Mastiffs, females anyways. The males were similar in type, but much taller. And the only real difference is they had a dewlap. There wasn't much wrinkle, but they had good bone and they were quite tall. Most of them were 29, 30 inches tall and maybe 140 pounds. But I saw this dog today and I thought it would be interesting to share as it reminded me so much of those old dogs.